Yo, what is up everyone? This is Ryan Mahalik back with you with another video and we're going to be going over some games against Brian Chess today. Uh, we just had another COF series with them. So um, yeah, best of three and let's get into it. The first map was Pinball Wizard. So I like going Eagle on this map. Uh, Tack Ninja Village is my favorite strat. So I anti-stole first round of course. Uh, you don't want them to get the farm first round so that's why I anti-stole. And he brings out the Dartling. This was a surprise, of course, because uh, DFA is met on this map, so I was surprised he was going Dartling. But I'm guessing he he knew I was going Eco in the first place, so he wanted to anti-stall. So I guess it's a solid choice. Um, yeah, pretty much standard stuff. I get my Blade Shooter, and then he just chills with his Dartling. A thing to note, though, um, I have up a 0, a zero 3 Blade Shooter, so I don't have the faster shooting upgrades. Because this will defend AI, and I just want to save as much money as possible at the moment, just so that I can um, send more balloons, if that makes sense. He gets up his cannon as well, just to defend blues, so he's trying to anti-stall super hard this game, it looks like. So I don't know if that's the play, honestly. It might be better for him just to focus on farms a little bit more, because he is going to have pretty terrible farms, since he is focusing so much money on anti-stall. He could easily force, by the way, he could easily force the faster shooting upgrades on my attack at the moment with blocks, which he hasn't been doing, but then he sends them, so well played on his part, and I've just been 4Qing um, Eco so far. He sends me some yells, I just get up another attack, and that's an easy defend, and at this point I stop Ecoing. Now normally at this point, I'd have around 620 Eco or so, because of the anti-storm down about 90, but you can also see how terrible his farms are. So I don't really know if that anti-stall was the move, to be honest with you. Let's come, so I just get up my Ring of Fire, pretty standard stuff. He boosts me some Zebras, which I actually get up a Ninja here. I really didn't need it. I could have just tanked the leaks, but I wanted to play it safe. And then round 12 camos, I get up the camo detection, pretty standard stuff. He sends me one region rainbow, the attack would have actually handled that, but I just kept the ninja again to be safe. So he's been playing extremely aggro so far. I keep ecoing with some whites. I eco with whites instead of like pinks because whites um, send more balloons and they're just as cost effective for eco. And the, because of that, I force actually another dartling. That dartling wouldn't have been forced if I sent like pinks. So he sends me some ceramics here. And I actually over ecoed a little bit, so I get up my double shot late, and I boost pretty late. And for that reason, I actually end up dying to these. So that was a really bad choke on my part, and game one ends at 4 minutes 30 seconds. So that was, that was pretty embarrassing, honestly, but we'll see if we can bring this back, as it is a best of three. Oh, this is the wrong game. Here we go. Uh, yeah, my losing map was um inlets but it's this game here we go so boat mortar versus boat, first boat mortar pretty standard stuff you don't really see other strats on inlets very much dfa is possible but with only four farm spots it's not that great i actually go for my boat round one to kind of take away the leaks and then i'll send it to 61 while he just goes for his farm, and then kind of uh, spikes the leaks. We both get up our grape shots, it looks like, and then we're not going to really send each other stuff till round six. I actually kind of like his start more, the reason being he has more eco than me, and he has a slight money lead. Along with the fact that we're pretty much tied in life, so I think his start was better. I should probably agree for the farm next time. He boosted me some blacks, and then I end up doing the same, and we both force his zero zero boat along with the faster shooting. And here what I do is I sell this boat to go for my plantation a little bit sooner, so I get some extra bananas. And he doesn't send me blacks or anything to punish me, so that's solid. He sends me a yellow rush, I just get up my mortar, and that's a pretty easy defend. 
since we have some constant blacks, that's not really going to force anything. I'll just handle the leaks. And because of that, I do have a slight out farm. I think he might have over farmed here a little bit, so I'm going to go for around 11 rush. But we'll see how that goes. He goes for 1-2. Well, actually, he goes for 1 first, and I get my destroyer. And then I counter with 1, I believe. Yeah, I send him a camel lead, and then I send the whites. And he leaks a good bit, but he's able to defend, so solid defend on his part. Pretty equal on money and eco right now, so this is a very um, equal game so far. So there's a slight miscalculation on my part here. I actually go for this. But um, the problem was I got up the BIA a tiny bit late, so I only got 30 eco at the end of the round. But I was able to preserve my um, plantation because of it. But I just sell my plantation anyways to uh, rush him round 16. And he's actually able to defend without boost, so that rush was not really that great. So at this point after that, he is definitely outplaying because I got up my BIA late and sent him a faulty rush. He sends me a Moab. Um, again, my rule stands where if he balloon boosts it, I'll boost it. If he doesn't balloon boost, I won't boost. So he is up one boost now, but he did send that Moab. So I don't know. I didn't really want to send a Moab, even though I could force a boost. When they have three boosts left, it's not really worth it in my opinion. The reason being... Three boosts and two boosts are pretty similar um, for strength late game since rushes won't last very long. So honestly, and I don't really see myself draining another boost besides one Moab. So that's why I didn't really send him a Moab because I don't really think there's much of a difference between having two and three boosts in an inlets game. Okay, here's the thing. So I cashed out my BIA and actually went for triple BIA. And the reason being, um, I got up my BIA pretty early, so this is going to be a very high farm game. In which case, late game, since there's only four farm spots, I want as much eco as possible. So this is going to allow me to get a slight eco lead towards late game. Well, he only has two BIAs, and he's going to be going for his factory here. And you can already see the BIAs are giving me a slight eco lead as I up about 200 eco at the moment. Round 24 comes. What I do is I'm able to just chill with my current defense. The grape shot up here, as I said in previous videos, it's really good for breaking down that ceramic layer to allow the balloon buster to kind of take out the other layers. So here I make a greedy move. I sell my um, destroyer to go for my fact facility. And the reason being, I'm able to get enough money from this and my eco to forward a um, big one to defend round 25 AI. And you really only need a big one and a destroyer from this point on until round 27. Because the destroyer, you put it on strong, just takes down the ceramic layers while the big one cleans up everything else. And then I'm waiting for one more round to uh, cash out these BIAs and sell them, so I'm just spamming boats at the moment. Round 27 comes, I cash all of them out, sell them, and get up my, all of my facilities. So you can see we're tied in farms. I also have a pretty much equal money, more defense down, and I have about 500 more eco. And that's because of the triple BIA I went for, while well, he went for the only two BIAs. So when late game comes, I like to target all these boats up here on strong. So then um, they can kind of shred the ZMG layer and you can stall with the mortar, the BFB and Bob layers a lot longer. So that's why you want to target your boats on strong.
pretty sure so i'm also go for another big one big one spam is very important because the big ones hit a lot of balloons so they're really good against cleaning up all of the ceramics and stuff and they do a decent amount of damage to the moabs so i'm actually going to end up getting more than two big ones at the end of this game round 33 comes and it looks like we both start sending each other i try to not send them too much i send them a decent amount where i can keep a good amount of money behind to afford on defense I boosted right away so then I can get my second boost up early, and then I use my second boost here. And I haven't even started mortar stalling yet, which is interesting. The reason I haven't mortar stalled, stalled yet is because I wanted to wait until I start selling defense after the, both the boosts are done, so I can get the most effect out of the boosts. So now it's pretty much just a stall off. As you can see, I still have more defense down than him because he has been stalling the whole time while I waited for the boosts to go out before I started stalling. He did have one boost advantage, but at this point, since he sold a good amount of defense, the last boost isn't even that effective. And there's not that many balloons left on my side. He has a little bit more on his side, so it's close again, but it looks like I end up with the victory once again on Inlet. So we're going to game three. And our last game was his losing map, and we went on Yin Yang. So Yin Yang... Uh, boat Wiz is the meta. I ended up going Boat Mortar, which is better late game. But Boat Mortar is extremely hard to pull off on this map because of how the AI and um, scent paths go di different directions. So we'll see if I can pull it off. We both... He doesn't anti-stall round one, which is al already good for me off the rip because the more passive the game is, the better it is for my strategy. We both get up our grape shots round two. And then we're just going to go for our plantation here, and it'll stay pretty passive till round six. Round six comes, we both end up sending each other balloon boosted blacks. And he goes for a faster shooting, while I just end up going for a second grape shot without any faster shootings. I kind of like my move a little bit more, because two grape shots I think is better than his defense, and it's similar price. Because my defense can handle yellows pretty well, while his uh, struggles to yellows a little bit. We both end up sending each other a lead. Now, the reason I didn't go for my farm there when I had like 1500 was because whites can be deadly, so I need to be able to afford this destroyer to defend whites, and that's what I do. So, yeah. I can see he goes, he, he's going wizard here, so again, I'm just going to play this very passive to try to take a late game and get as good of farms as possible. So he hasn't sent me any zero rushes or anything like that, which kind of weirded me at, out because I feel like he should be playing much more aggressive uh, with Boat Wizard. 